What's up, guys? Are you struggling to keep your community, to keep your viewers engaged, where you have viewers kind of dropping off here and there? Then, hey, I have a video for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT, which is like the ultimate writing AI, to do insane things. We're going to use it from everything from creating mini games for your stream to using it to create the perfect stream game plan no matter what you do. So join us as we look at 10 ways to use ChatGPT to level up your stream and keep your viewers engaged. Let's get into it. If you're a streamer on any platform and you're looking to grow your stream, make sure you sign up for my newsletter, 321 Grow. I'll have it linked down below, but I send out a newsletter every other Monday giving three content creation tips, two random ideas that I found that particular week, and one free resource. Make sure you sign up. I'm sending out every other week free tips coming directly to you. All right, let's jump into the video. By the way, guys, if you enjoyed the intro, it literally came directly from ChatGPT, I, I, which is probably why it was so cut up and jumbled because I can't script anything. I just I just talk. That's what I do. I just talk. So yes, uh, anyway, this came directly from ChatGPT, but today I want to show you 10 ways to use it to make your stuff insane. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into ChatGPT, and if uh, I'll have a link down below, but it's just chat.openai.com. So I just created a new chat, and now I can jump in and start typing things into ChatGPT, things that I want it to do. And so the really cool thing is it's an ongoing conversation, so you can always refer back to something that you said prior. So the very first thing I want to say is, ChatGPT, create me an outline. So I'm gonna say I'm a Fortnite streamer on Twitch. Create a four hour stream outline. Let's say that we're a little more than just a Fortnite streamer. What if we're a Fortnite and music streamer, right? Create a four hour stream outline. What should my stream look like? Okay, and now it's gonna start going. It's gonna go ahead and give me hour one. Here's what we're doing, right? It says, introduction, welcome to the stream, right? Welcome people. A quick Fortnite warm up, uh, match to get in the groove, playlist of upbeat music to set the tone for the stream. Hour two, music interlude, where a selection of popular songs, then a Fortnite match with viewer participation, squad up with viewers, take requests for challenges. All these different, different ways to kind of make your stream exciting. Hour three, more music, right? A Fortnite match with a focus on creative building and editing, tips and tricks for building. And so going into like a tips and tricks section. So just a bunch of different ways to actually, you know, mess around and, and change up your stream. Number two we can do is actually to come up with tips and tricks for our game. So I could say, Give me five Fortnite tips and tricks. I don't know why I'm doing Fortnite, but Fortnite's what's on my brain right now. So give me five Fortnite tips and tricks. And I can do this to have a section up here where it says, you know, you're going to give, uh, where was it? Tips and tricks on building and editing, right? Well, I could have this give me the tips and tricks that I'm going to share with my community. Right, use the building feature to your advantage. Fortnite's unique building. Okay, maybe that's a pretty common one. Learn the map and points of interest. That's a pretty good one. Keep an eye out for the storm. That one gets me every time. I come from a battle royale where you get a mount, just press Z and it's there. Uh, so I get, I die in the storm a lot in Fortnite. Use cover. Okay, so all these are, are pretty good. Fortnite tips and tricks. Uh, while this is finishing out, I think the number three, what we could do is we could use this to write uh, fiction. So something that ChatGPT is really good at is writing. And so I could have it write a Fortnite fiction novel, short story, short story. Okay. Write a story. And then I'll say, keep it under 500 words. Right. Cause I don't want to read all day, but I can have it write a, a fictional short story. Once upon a time in a land called battle Royale, a group of friends named Jack, Kate and Mark decided to enter a Fortnite tournament together. Right. And so it's going to make up this crazy story. And this could be a segment of your stream where you're like, this, it, we're reaching the end of the stream. It's it's bedtime story time where we're gonna allow ChatGPT to tell us a bedtime story and you can prompt it with anything that you want. But it's something that your community will get excited about and ready to come back for. And so it's 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 going on. I, you pause it if you wanna read this. I'm not gonna read it all in the video, but you can pause the video if you wanna read over it. Does It looks like more than 500 words though, so I don't think it listened to me. There we go, pause if you wanna read it. Another thing you could do is just have some jokes planned. If you like to make jokes, you like to be funny, you could have some game specific jokes planned out. So it'll write jokes for you. Write 10 Fortnite jokes, right? It'll actually write out 10 jokes. Now you may not show these to your people. You may write these down just for using later on, but generate up a bunch of jokes for your specific game or your specific niche, whatever it is that you're into. So uh, why don't play Fortnite players play hide and seek? Because they're always building. 
I don't know that, that one was that funny, but th we'll get a we'll get a good one. Why was Ford? Why was the Fortnite player sad? Because he didn't get the victory royale he wanted. Okay, th some of these aren't great. I'll give you that. What do you call a Fortnite player who's always in the storm? A storm chaser. That's okay. That's pretty good. What do you call a Fortnite player who only plays tilted, tilted minded? Yeah. Anyway, you can go through. You'll have to pick and choose. I can have it generate up 20 or 30 or 50 of them, but eventually you'll find some pretty good ones that you can write down, add to your repertoire. Another cool thing you could do is write up like trivia questions to test yours and your, your viewers' knowledge of the game. So I could say, write five Fortnite trivia questions, right? Just test our knowledge. And you could do this live. I can say, all right, we're all gonna do 10 Fortnite trivia questions and whoever gets the most uh, correct gets a, a thousand of our channel points, right? Whatever they may be. So what, in what year was Fortnite released? Uh, in Fortnite, what is the name? And now, oh, awesome, it gives you the answers too. So maybe don't show that part. Uh, what is the name of the bus that drops the players? It's the battle bus, right? Uh, what is the name of the game mode where players gather resources? It's Save the World, which I've always wanted to play. If you've played Save the World, let me know. It looks really fun, but I've never played it. Uh, was the default keybind? That's a good one because everybody changes it. Let me know if you've kept the default keybind, which is G evidently. That's crazy. That's a that's an insane reach. Who does? Who has fingers like that? Yeah, that's insane. Anyway. G generate up trivia questions for your particular niche or your particular game. Super easy, really engaging. Another thing, and I literally did it in today's stream. I'm recording this video live, and in today's stream, I used it to generate up my stream title. So I could say, write five funny Fortnite stream titles. All right, so stream titles are hit or miss, I'll say that, but some of them are pretty good. You can you can get a bunch. Okay, so Tilted, tilted or Bust, right? Fortnite stream shenanigans, Storm Chaser, a Fortnite edge, a stream on the edge, that's pretty good. Building my way to a victory royale, right? Fortnite and chill, building castles, like, I mean, plenty of, of stream title ideas for you to do. All right, so my Twitch viewers have asked that I actually change these up and do them D&D &D related because I do a lot of D&D &D content. So let's do this one. Let's do uh, Fortnite uh, or D&D &D trivia. So if you guys want to skip to the tip six, go ahead. Uh, I'll try to have it uh, marked out in the little sections. In the game of Dungeons Dragons, what is the name of the game's creator? Oh, why did my brain just go blank? No, I don't want to see the answer. I don't want to see the answer. All right, all right, chat, right now, what is the name of the D&D game creator? In D&D, what are the six classic ability scores? We know that one, it is it is strength, dexterity, intelligence, wisdom, constitution. Why did my brain just stop working? All right, we're skipping this. All right, let's go down and look. Gary Gygax, yes, strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma, charisma. I failed on my charisma save right there, guys. I failed on my charisma save. Anyway, there we go. Trivia questions on Dungeons and Dragons. We'll change up the rest for D&D for my, for my chat here. The other cool thing you could do, and we did this earlier and it sounds really, really fun, is you can use ChatGPT to generate mini games. So I wanna do a D&D specific mini game. Let's see how, what it does. Write a D&D themed Twitch mini game, we'll say a themed text-based Twitch mini game or chat. There we go. That was a lot of words. We'll see what it gives us. Last time the, the mini game it gave actually was really cool. So we'll see what it comes up with this time. Okay, The Lost Tomb of the Dragon King sounds amazing already. This is a text-based Twitch mini game that can be played in the chat of a DD and d stream. The game is set in a fantasy world where the players are a group of adventurers on a quest to find the Lost Tomb of the Dragon King. Sounds amazing, honestly. I may steal this from my next D&D campaign. The tomb is said to contain a powerful ancient relic that the players uh, that grant the players an immense power. To start the game, the stream will give a brief description of the game and the objective. The players in the chat will then take on the roles of different characters, such as a wizard, rogue, or a warrior, and for some reason, they didn't list a cleric, losers. Uh, the streamer will then describe different scenarios scenarios and challenges the group will face on a quest. The players will have to use their characters' abilities and skills to overcome these challenges. Okay, so for example, the group might come across a locked door that needs to be opened. So right here, I, I can generate more. I can say, okay, tell me about the storyline. Uh, okay, tell me the storyline. Right, I can I can do this. I can tell it to tell me the different challenges, to give me different challenge uh, challenges and stuff for them to do. I can have this generate up everything I need for this game, and then I can just copy and paste it over to a, a Google Doc or something, right? And so I, it's going to generate it out. I'm not going to let it keep going because I think you get it. But you can generate a mini game based on anything. Let's say write a Twitch chat counting 
mini game. I have no idea what this is even going to look like, but let's see what it comes up with. Count to 100. This is a simple and fun Twitch game, mini game that can be played during stream. The objective of the game is for chat to count from 1 to 100 as fast as possible. Start the game, the streamer announces that they will begin to count down from 1 uh, at 1, and the chat will continue counting along with the streamer. The chat should type out the numbers in, that in the chat sequence. Right? Oh, see, my chat's already starting this mini game. But just gener this is just a bunch of ways to to get in and interact with your with your chat and with your community. And I think that's the ultimate thing that makes streaming different from like YouTube and stuff is that it is direct interaction with your community. And and this is some great ideas of how to interact. Tip number I think seven, correct me if I'm wrong, tip is to to write game challenges. Write five D and D game challenges. I don't I don't even know what a D and D game challenge would be, but let's see what it comes with. The escape from the Minotaur's Labyrinth, the players find themselves trapped in a Labyrinth dungeon with a Minotaur hunting them down. The players must use their skills and ability. Okay, so this is kind of giving me like, I'm going to have to write all these down. These are some pretty good like one-shot ideas and stuff. All right, but let's say, I was thinking more like a challenge for a game of Fortnite. So let's try that real quick. The players divide in teams. All right, it's, it's kind of giving me, so let me see. Um, write a, a challenge I have to complete in Fortnite. So you may have to reword this a couple times to get exactly what you want for for chat uh, to figure out what you're trying to do. To eliminate a certain number of players in a set amount of time, instructions to play a solo game of Fortnite. Fortnite. The goal is to eliminate a certain number of players, set amount, let's say 20 players in 30 minutes. You must use only weapons found in game. Or Okay, so right, getting all kinds of challenges. So generate this up, rephrase it how you want um, and see what kind of ideas it comes up with. But you can create some game challenges for you to have to complete in the game. So the next thing you can do, tip number nine, will be a randomizer. And so what we can do is literally I can say, hey, chat, I need everybody to pick a, 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 a vegetable, a random vegetable, doesn't matter. And then I can say, all right, whoever gets it right wins. And so now I'm gonna say, chat GBT, uh, pick one random vegetable. And it's gonna pick a random vegetable, carrots, right? Who guessed carrots? If someone guessed carrots, they win. No one in my chat guessed carrots. Uh, so I could say, pick a random US state, right? And it's gonna pick a random US state, Oklahoma. So you can do this as a complete randomizer to pick random things. Pick a number between one and 25, right? And it's gonna pick a random number, it picked 13. Okay, so you can have it do that. Another idea is you can have it generate up channel point rewards. So let's say, Give me 10 Twitch channel point reward ideas. All right, an em emote party. Allow viewers to use special emote for a certain amount of time. A chat highlight, that's a pretty normal one. Priority queue, allow a viewer to jump to the front of the queue for uh, a Q&A or a game. That's a good one, actually, a priority queue. Name and lights, display the viewer's name in on-screen graphic for a certain amount of time. That's pretty cool. A personalized greeting. So right here, 10 channel point reward ideas. Um, I think one thing you could also do, you could have a channel point reward to ask ChatGPT anything. So when someone redeems it, you have to go over, ask ChatGPT something, and then read it back out loud. And so that's good if they've already messed with it and they kind of know close to what the response is going to be, and it could be a funny joke or something. Right, a personalized greeting. The, the streamer will give a personalized shout out to the viewer, uh, a co-op mode, VIP lounge, uh, behind the scenes, exclusive like loot drop, all, all kinds of fun stuff for you to do. But there are 10 just quick things that you can do with ChatGPT to up your stream quality, to bring your stream to the next level, keep your viewers engaged. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm putting out videos just like this every single week, sometimes more than once a week. Make sure you follow me over on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, at pretty late night. So if you're a late night person, come join me. But also, I appreciate you for watching, and I hope I see you in the next one.